Welcome to UNV Academy. In this episode, we're going to talk about alarm settings of NVR. We will demonstrate how to set motion detection, how to configure alarm input output, and showcase functions like alert or audio detection. Let's get started. Let's go with motion detection first. Motion detection detects moving objects in a specified rectangular area during a period. It is enabled on the NVR with a full screen detection area by default. Select the requested camera from this drop-down list. Make sure motion detection is enabled. Specify the desired detection area by dragging the mouse pointer to clear the grids. We can click clear all, then specify the area too. Drag the slider to set detection sensitivity. The higher the sensitivity, the more likely a moving object will be detected. If an object inside the detection area moves to a certain extent, an alarm icon appears in the upper right corner. Setting up trigger action will make sure that we will get notified by a buzzer sound, or email message, or a pop-up window when an alarm occurs. Below there are some more advanced linkage actions like recording. Go to Preset and Snapshot. Set up the arming schedule if we want motion detection to work during some specific periods. Next is tampering. The tampering detection alarm occurs when the camera lens is covered. Trigger action and arming schedule are both supported by this function. As for the human body detection, the alarms will occur when the presence of human beings is detected in the specified area. This function may vary with IPC models. And the video loss configuration is for setting alarm trigger in the event of losing video. Alarm input on an NVR is generally for sensors or switches. And outputs can be connected to devices like sirens and floodlights. Go edit. Tick enable. Rename input if needed. Get alarming types as NO or NC. NO means normally open connection. And NC is normally closed connection. Click Trigger Actions for preferred actions types when alarm input takes place. Click Arming Schedule for scheduling arming time as requested. Let's move on to Output Setting. Click Edit. Select Default Status. We can customize the signal output duration from 1 to 3600 seconds or choose Maximum Option to output signal continuously. Select Relay Mode between Bistable and Monostable. NVR might encounter issues like IP conflict, network disconnected, and disk offline. For a more stable and safer operation, we could configure the alert notification in advance. We can have all types configured with their own alert output. Click Alert Type. Choose the alert and output type in demand. Audio detection can be a very reliable way to capture a sudden change in sound volume or other important sounds that need to be recorded. Select the requested camera. Tick Enable. Get the needed trigger actions. Get the operating schedule armed. Choose the aimed detection type of sudden rise, sudden fall, sudden change, and threshold. For the first three types, dragging the slider below can set the difference value within volumes. When the type is the threshold, we can finally adjust the sensitivity here. It's advisable to set the trigger level above the average range. Don't forget to click Apply. We can set buzzing duration in the buzzer configuration. Put it at maximum status, the duration will be 2 minutes. When switched to the custom status, the duration can last up to 600 seconds. People present alarm can be utilized to monitor the presence of people. Before we enable this function, make sure we have already completed the related settings on the camera side. The default threshold value is 1. We can adjust the quantity as required. 
It works with cameras that support people counting only. That's all for today's learning. Hope this will be helpful to you. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.